welcome back and uh, in this session for the data types we've seen so far we would like to see how to convert from one data type to another okay matlab has a lot of built-in functions which enable us to be able to convert from say numerical data type from uh, to rather characters or from characters back to numeric okay or from a particular class of numeric to another class of numeric okay so let's start with that let's let's start with numeric from a particular class to another class okay so uh i think we've we've been seeing that uh, we've seen that um, if i create x is equal to five it's automatically uh, a double but then let's say x is equal to 5.8 for example okay now oh let me let me let me get back that form okay let me get back to the format we usually use okay so if i say x good so that's x is equal to 5.8 now i want to convert this uh to uh, to single right we saw that okay so in that case i will just have to say single of of x okay and that converts it to single you will see that the class of the corresponding answer the class of ants will be will be single right good but then what happens if i want to convert such a number which is 5.8 to an integer then we'll use the command we, we know for example int 8 let's say integer 8 bit unsigned integer 8 bit uh, of x what would that give me 6 wow that's interesting right so what has it done it has simply rounded up the number okay to the nearest integer that is what just happened so if i say int 8 of 5.2 instead that gives me 5 okay it rounds down that brings us to study some some built-in functions that uh, can be useful from time to time when dealing with uh, rounding up uh, floating point numbers to um, become integers okay uh, we'll introduce three of them right here okay we have the round we have the seal okay and we have the floor these three functions let's start with round round will round the way you know in mathematics okay so if i say round of 2.5 it gives me three round of eight it gives me three and round of 2.2 it gives me two right that is round the way you know it okay it will always round to the next um, to the next greatest integer so let's say round of five one that gives me three round of five two good it gives me three okay so now um if i want to get so let's say i have a value of x equal to five point three for example okay but no matter the decimal, the decimal point here, I always want it to round up to the next integer. Okay, so I have a scenario where if there is any decimal number in front, it should round to the next greatest integer. So in the case where it is five, it should round up to six. Okay, always, no matter the, if it is 5.1, it should be six. Even if it's 5.4, it should be six. In that case, I will use the seal command okay seal command will always round to the next greatest integer okay no matter the decimal point five point oh i said seal of six <laughs> seal of x okay seal of x that gives me six right <laughs> okay so if i say seal of 5.1 it gives me six okay no matter what i say okay but uh seal of 5.0 obviously is five right <laughs> good zero is zero and the uh, floor does the opposite okay so seal will always round to the next greatest integer and the floor will always round down okay to the uh to the next to the smallest integer so in fact floor will always give you the integer you see right so if i say floor of 
5.8 for example it will always give me this value right here 5 okay this can be very 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 useful okay so it will always give me 5 so that is round floor and seal so should in case you want to convert double to to integers and uh, you have this dilemma where you want uh, it to function in a specific way you don't want it to round in the standard manner then you can always use seal and floor to have the expected result okay mm. That being said, I think that covers it for numeric to numeric conversion. Okay, so what about numeric to character conversion? Well, we have a function which is known as num to str, as it says, it converts from numeric to string. I love MATLAB built in functions because many times it's just like English language. The function tells you what it does already. So here it converts from numeric to, to string. So obviously, what does that do? If I enter in numeric data like 3, for example, it gives me 3. But the answer in this case, let me say wolf of ants, the answer is not a number okay it is a it is a character one by one character as you can see even here ants is a character this ants that came out so it has converted this numeric tree okay into a character known as known as tree right good if i want to convert an integer so this will convert any number by the way any number okay 3.589 and uh, it does exactly just that okay it will convert any number if i want to convert um from an integer to a string then i will use int to string okay and the number for example 8 it does just that okay if i say 8.8 what happens it applies the round principle okay it first of all rounds up the number before converting it into a string to make sure that the number that is here becomes an integer first before being converted into a string okay that's cool that's cool now let's go the other way around how do i convert from a string to a number okay from a string to a number is just the opposite is str from string to number okay string to new and if i enter any number here so in this case how is the number supposed to be it's supposed to be a string so if i enter five then five is my answer okay and uh, rules of arms simply tells me that five is what is a double okay good so uh can we try something else 5.8 for example so but recently in more recent versions of matlab matlab advises that instead of using string to new we use string to to double okay so you rather use this function which performs the same task but for some reason if the authors tell you to use uh, uh, this function instead of the other one you better obey because they know what they've done in the background okay it's more effective it's more efficient compared to the former string to new which is still in effect okay uh, what if we try to uh, convert a string which is not really uh, a number look at that let me say loic okay if i convert loic to double what is that supposed to give me loic is not a number okay so what happens we have none okay none stands for not a number that's the meaning of none it simply starts for none a number so if you try to convert something a string which is not a number into a double it creates a new class okay known as oh let's try it let's try to see uh, the class of of arms is a double still right but it is a type of double known as not 
a number just like inf right just like in it has just created a different type of uh, of data good we will dive more into this and its usefulness most certainly in the next session when we'll be looking at boolean data type okay so uh thank you very much and uh, see you in the next session